Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone, and we are covering the best and the worst support effects or support skills in the game. Okay, so let me just define some of the things here. So most of us usually use a main DPS shooter in the middle, then on your left and on your right, these are mostly these operatives are mostly used as support units they rarely come out in the middle here for for use of their guns but most players use them as support they use usually one main dps shooter then two support operatives in the side so we are covering um let us go to the details so this skill here the support skill of the best shooter or the best operative as a support that we have so we will start off with Frisha Hush here so Frisha Hush is basically a operative that uses a rifle but for her support skill she applies five stacks of fire god protection to be deployed to an operative the, the, the operative meaning the main operative that you're using so this is this her support skill max five stacks of fire god protection when hit operative loses one stack of fire god protection and reverse flame is triggered damage taken from this hit is reduced by 50 and surrounding targets are burned dealing thermal damage 0.5 seconds plus if you upgrade your neural skill Fire God Protection adds Iron Body, which I assume is kind of related to armor. And you have Fire God Protection will remain uh, after all stacks are consumed, but the damage absorbed will be decreased to 25, which is not bad. So this skill is mainly used on your shotgunners. If your main DPS um, shooter is a shotgunner, or somebody who likes to get down and dirty with all of your enemies, then definitely this skill is really, really needed, especially now that we are nearing um, the harder stages or the harder enemies up to cha from, from chapter seven up, then definitely you'll need this if you're bringing a shotgunner along. Next up is Akasha, five stars. So we have here her skills. So this one is one of the best, definitely, that I've ever used. So Akasha throws a Kagan Moon dart forward that flies around the target spot for 10 seconds, dealing frost damage to enemies and applying the Moon Tide effect, which decreases their all type resistance by 24%. Take note that this one, I think she is the only one with a support skill that decreases uh, all type resistance. And... Plus, she, de she deals um, frost damage and she does suck in nearby enemies, as you can see here in her neural skill upgrade. And also, the dart follows the hit target. This one is a great combo for other characters, namely the next one that I am going to be talking about. Okay, our third one as a support effect or support character would be Mauxir's Mind Blast. So Mauxir's Mind Blast is the Ego Avatar out of the designated target dealing frost damage. Again, Ego Avatar transfers its damage taken in proportion to the host as frost damage. Each enemy only has one Ego Avatar. The Ego Avatar has the same defense as the host, but the HP is equal to 50% of the host's current HP. It can't be hit by shots. So you can only hit it with skills with skill damage so you need to partner with another support or partner this skill with a a standard skill of the main operative that you're using so as you can see neural skills mind blast can now be effective against multiple targets previously it's only applied to one target but also when an operative applies control effect to a target uh, moxir shocks the ego avatar out of the target so again, a very, very powerful um, support skill that you can really use without even putting her as your main DPS. 
Okay, so next up is going to be Fanny with her chosen, the chosen for her support skill. This is a very simple skill. F Fanny encourages her teammates the increased rate of fire operative on the field by 18% for 8 seconds. It can be increased to 10 seconds if you upgrade her neural skill. And the effect of the chosen one now strengthens the full squad. So this one, guys, is going to be very crucial, especially if your gun has a slow rate of fire. This will hasten it. Mostly slow rate of fire would be applicable to your handgun, your, sh your shotgun, your sniper rifle, and sometimes your rifle. So... Again, this skill is very, very important, especially if you want to deal damage in a short amount of time or you want to make quick work of your enemy. Definitely, this is the skill that you'll be needing for your main DPS operative. Okay, for the best and the last, we have here Chen Xing with Psychic. So Psychic here is a support skill uh, Chen Xing deploys one drop pod in the designated location, repels surroundings, targets, and transforms into Purity Mark after a brief delay. The Purity Mark drops one talisman, birth, it starts well as every five seconds, which restores some HP when picked up. Take note that you have to upgrade this skill for you to be able to get the best of its effects. So this one, the Purity Mark throws a talisman. This one, you don't have to pick it up your HP add-on or your HP canister, it will be thrown directly to the operative wherever you are. And after picking up a talisman, birth increases standard skill damage by 10% for 3 seconds, which is nice because again, 10% increase in skill damage is also... Um, not that it, it's it's not that big, but it's something that can really buff your standard skill. Okay, moving on to our honorable mention. Okay, we have here Cherno. So Cherno has Black Dog as her support skill. You don't really have to bring Cherno. Her support skill is um, I'm I'm not sure if right now most of you guys are using it, but it has. A good utility to it um, some game modes might benefit from this skill so continues to release Cherno turns into phantom and quickly moves in a certain direction for five seconds during this period Cherno can't be controlled or interrupted and slows any target she passes through so she's like a ghost going through she slows them down plus her neural skills here when Cherno is under phantom state after using black dog reduces her damage taken by 50 so that basically applies to the uh, main dps that you're controlling when belloberg is present cherno recovers hp equal to five percent of own max hp for each target that black dog passes through as well so this is a nice skill for evasion and for um damage reduction not so much for hp but for damage reduction as well Okay, so we have here, um, not probably the worst, but one of the worst uh, support skills in this game. So Haru, um, you, you can actually take it as something that is good, but again, Haru only has kinetic damage. It is, it is, it has a condition where every one reduction of the target's current HP, final damage increases by 2%. So 2% is actually nice, but I don't think it's a big enough damage, even if you turn it to 4% here. But also, just to take note, uh, when defeating a target with vanish, uh, Vanishing Phantom, attack of full squad increases by 20% for 20 seconds. What if you cannot defeat it with Vanishing Phantom, then what next? So again, I think this skill has a small damage, and I don't think that... Most of you guys will be able to use it. Okay, so that is it, guys, for the best and the worst skill effects in the game. So thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.